Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today we are bringing you a two for one. And by we, I mean me. Um, we are reviewing Marvel Legends Adam Warlock and X Nilo, or X Nilo. I forget which way they call it. Um, but I was not planning on getting both of these characters, but I really want to create, create uh, complete Mantis, so. Therefore, I have them. So I'm doing a two for one just because I don't think people really care too much about both of these figures, but they are pretty spot on and pretty interesting characters nonetheless. Let's start with the least interesting one as far as the figure itself, um, which is X Nilo or X Nilo. Um, he was created by um, John Hickman, who had an amazing run on Avengers, my favorite run of all time. And Bex basically. He's a very powerful character. Uh, here's a couple of images of him in the comics. Uh, this is him, different color. He kind of like he's basically like a creator. There's a he has a sister or a wife that's like the dark side of things. I forget her name because uh, it's been a while since I've read that book. But um, if as you can see, the the art is amazing. The character's face and look is spot on. Um, so he's he's basically one of those characters who's not really a villain but they're not a hero either uh he's kind of like an in-between almost like a creator um very extremely extremely powerful there's more than just him there's multiple versions of this guy um but um i thought the figure itself was good um peg holes here that's not really necessary um i forget which body he shares but whoever has it must have a need for those two peg holes um i don't think it's really necessary but the paint itself is a very very nice gold-ish color um, and for the head alone it's worth having this figure because the detail if you look there that's a lot of detail you know talk about your third eye uh, so they really did a spot-on job with this guy and I never thought Marvel Legends would ever do a character like this with so little um, you know of a following um, I wish they would have actually included his sister in it as well, um, because she deserved the spotlight also. And here's a picture of her sister, just barely. You can see her right there, or his wife, I forget which one it is, right next to Hulk. So, she looks, her, her design is also pretty cool, but it's also pretty basic, so maybe that's why they did not go with that route. Uh, moving to Adam Warlock, let's take a look at him. Adam Warlock comes with the super original effects that no other character has in Marvel Legends. Okay, you've seen these effects multiple times. Uh, but this look and design, most a lot of people are disappointed with, um, as it's not the classic Adam Warlock. Um, it's more or less the Annihilation Conquest uh, look. Um, as you can see, that look is spot on. Um, here's another couple of, of looks too just to kind of help you put two and two together. Um, they actually missed a little bit of the red in the belt there after looking at it a little further. And one more look for good measure. There he is again. And there is uh, Nova as well as Warlock. So that's pretty cool. So we've got several of those Marvel Legend characters already. So it's nice to see that keep expanding. Um, he's on the Bucky Cap mode, so nothing really special here, folks. Uh, you've seen this once, you've seen it a thousand times. Um, I think the thing that makes this great is the paint apps. Um, they did an exceptional job, if I can get this thing off, on the paint apps. Um, n very little issues, a little bit here and there. You'll see some you know, shading that's off, um, but it looks good. It looks very good, I, especially love the face colors like you might not be able to tell on camera but it really has some nice shading to it um and that skin tone is really nice i hope we'll see some more of these uh, of his race from guardians of the galaxy movie in action figure form um, as far as alternate pieces he also came with the magus head um now forgive me i might butcher this because when it comes to cosmic marvel i'm pretty decent but sometimes i do slip up I think Magus, this Magus head here, is actually him from another dimension, um, more of an evil version of himself. But that head with the gold eyes is really awesome too. Although if you look at the eyes here, they're a little bit off. 
Um, but that black lipstick, the shading of the hair, again, a spot on job. They did a good job here with um, these figures. So, I mean, even though I don't think they're worth the full price, I definitely am glad I bought them. Um, and I think they're worthy uh, to pick up to add to any collector who likes uh, Marvel Universe cosmic elements, elements um, or a Hickman's run or anything like that. So if you like those two, they're definitely worth picking up. And this guy really picks up well on camera because he's really not that bright. I mean, I don't know what's going on with the camera, but he's bright as hell right now. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, but it has nice shading and tones with it too. Um, as far as movement and everything like that, these guys aren't really that much different from the most uh, figures. It's Bucky Cap. You've seen it once. You've seen it a thousand times. I don't know what body mode this is on. Maybe a Hyperion or maybe... Yeah, I think a Hyperion body is what this guy's on, except for his feet and his hands that are nice. So, all in all, nice figures. Um, I definitely recommend picking them up. If you like this review, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already right there. Or, if not, don't forget to also take a look at the previous Marvel Legends video. Thank you for watching. And until next time, folks, peace and chicken grease.